Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Thursday, April the 16th, 2020. Today I want to play with numbers. You know me in math, I love those numbers, so I thought it'd be a little bit of fun to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show the cards and show the numbers and then uh, something that you and your parents can do at home. So I have numbers 0 through 12, jumble them up, mix them up, don't want them in order, and then we're just going to flash them. 3, 5, 8, 6, 7, 10, 1, 11, 12, 9, 4, 0, 2. Now this time, I'm going to reshuffle the cards, mix them up, I'm not going to say them. You are. Here we go. And your turn. I bet 10, 11, and 12 were the hardest ones to identify. Be sure to keep practicing, okay? Mom can make these with any kind of paper, any scraps. You can make these and work on them, okay? Okay, so the other activity I want to do, um, my dad actually helped me make up this activity, so I'm really excited about it. My dad loves numbers, so I guess that's where I get my love of numbers from, too. So what I have here is our numbers in order, okay? So let's do them in order. Let's see. Zero, whoop, one, two, three, four, five. Coming down here, whoop, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's a domino game this time. So you have some dominoes or you can get some cards and make up some to look like this. And what we're going to do is count the dots and match them to the number. Let's start with this one. Look at that dot. Up. Oh, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where, oh where is the number seven. Let's see. If you can't identify it, just go ahead and slide down and say your numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there it is. Look at there. So I happen to have some tape on here, but of course you can do it laying on the table. Seven. I matched it up. Look at there. So let's do another one. Up. Ready? One, two, three. Where is my three? It's the same thing. If you can match it, then place it there. If you need to count up to it, that is perfectly fine. So here we go. Zero, one, two, three. And it's matched up with the numeral three. Great job. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready? Let's see. I know what five. Now I'm going to sweep and I'm going to say six, seven, eight. I bet most of you can find them right away, right? Y'all are doing really good with your number identification when we left. So let's see. Let's pull another. One, two. There's my number two. So 
you can keep going just like that and just keep on going hey I have one stuck on my elbow what do you think this number is let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's pull it off my elbow a one in the tens place and a zero in the ones place on my board that is our biggest number so you place it right there under there very good so that is going to help you and you know another thing you could do is you could do it in order the first time but the second time around you can have your parents mix those numbers up don't place them in order so watch this oh put zero here one two three four five six Seven. Oh, that does look backwards to eight, nine, ten. Okay, so the exact same activity except now your numerals are all mixed up, and that kind of brings up the challenge a little, doesn't it? Let's just do a couple of them together. Okay, ready? Let's pick this one up. Looky there. One, two, three, four, five. So where, oh, where is number five? Oh, look, it's right here in the middle. Place it right there. Let's do one, two, two. <gasps> Hunting, I see zero, I see seven. Looky, there's two. And place it right under the two. Okay, and there's another big number. Look at there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where, oh, where is my number nine? Let's see. Three, eight, six, one, five, nine. There it is. Place it right under there. And that is another way to practice identifying your numerals and counting the dots. Pretty cool, huh? All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, guys.